got one person's divergence, you know, the Tory divergence is all bigger, better, world leading. But well, like you would say, it, what is it? Well, no, well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that's why I've that's used, a good used example vague, of it. They've had, they've, they've, had, they've had years to show an example of a divergence, one that they want, and two that is good for the country. Um, um, well, what, certainly, certainly one that they've repeated a lot in the last 24 hours is that uh, Britain could move ahead with the COVID vaccine more quickly, having not been part of the EU. Yeah, but that's just a lie. Labour Party. Keir Starmer has been facing criticism this morning for comments he made at a centre-left conference in Canada last week when he was asked about his approach to Brexit and whether Britain would be sidling up far closer to Europe than he'd previously suggested. We don't want to diverge. We don't want to lower standards. We don't want to rip up environmental standards, working standards, food standards and all the rest of it. Notwithstanding the obvious fact that we are outside of the EU and not in the EEA, there's a lot more common ground than you might think. Now, he made those comments at the event with the Norwegian Prime Minister, but he was answering a question from John McTernan, former political secretary to Tony Blair, a senior advisor to the PR company BWC. And John joins me now. Hi, John. Hi. Um, how do you feel it's all, it's all your fault? You've blown up Keir Starmer's week. Um, no, some, um, some incredibly um, misguided, I would say, maybe even malevolent uh, misinterpretation has been perpetrated. <laughs> Keir Starmer said he doesn't want to lower standards. That's actually um, that's the Tory policy as articulated by Michael Gove after Brexit. Um, it's not controversial. I understand why a failing uh, Conservative government wants to flail around and tell lies about the Labour Party. But, you know, Keir's going to tell the truth and I'm going to tell the truth about the Labour Party position. You know, we accept that Brexit has happened. Uh, we accept, actually, that this government has failed to make Brexit work. It's the duty of the Labour Party to make it when in government to make Brexit work. But it's also the duty of the Labour Party to defend Labour standards, environmental standards, food standards. And if the Daily Mail, other Tory newspapers and the, the, the Tory advisors who are spitting about this, if they actually think the country wants lower labour standards, lower environmental standards, lower food standards, and it's controversial for Keir to say that we won't lower our food standards or environmental standards or labour standards, then they should come out and say it plainly, clearly, and let's have a debate about that. But instead, we have all of this litigation about the past you know, Brexit's happened. The referendum's yeah. happened. Um, the thing is, the government can't make it work. I mean, it, you're right. It, there does seem a slight retro feel to this debate. And uh, when you when when talking about diverging from Europe, being outside the EU, we don't have to follow all the same rules as them. But one person's divergence, you know, the Tory divergence is all bigger, better, world leading. But well, like you would say, it, what is it? Well, no, well, no, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that's why I've used a good example vague, of it. They've had, they've, they've, had, they've had years to show an example of a divergence, one that they want, and two that is good for the country. Um, um, well, and, what, certainly, certainly one that they've repeated a lot in the last 24 hours is that uh, Britain could move ahead with the COVID vaccine more quickly, having not been part of the EU. Yeah, but that's just a lie. That's just a lie. Um, um, and secondly, the, the most recent policy statement the Prime Minister has made was to actually align uh, our ban on the sales of new uh, diesel and petrol cars to align that with the European, European Union. So while you know he's in dynamic realignment, uh, Rishi Sunak's in dynamic realignment with the European Union, and now he's proposing to ape European, uh, European educational qualifications with a baccalaureate. Um, so there's a very strange thing going on with the government. I mean, they're, they're kind of cosplaying an opposition rather than the government. They should actually try and be a government for a bit. That's actually their duty and their responsibility at the moment. And they really should stop making stuff up. Is, there, is this a reminder that with potentially 12 months or less to go until a general election, Keir Starmer's got to be very careful about what he says wherever he is, whoever he's talking to, however, uh, whatever the event might be. Uh, I just, yeah, well, look, I, I, I just, I genuinely don't understand what any voter would find threatening about Keir Starmer saying, we will not lower environmental standards, we'll not lower food standards, we'll not lower labour standards. And I fail to see the attraction for the government or the Tory supporting papers uh, in saying, do you know what? 
it's a shame that Labour won't commit to lowering labour standards. It's a shame that Labour, a disgrace that Labour won't commit to lowering food standards. And if this is the territory that the government want to fight on, they're going to lose by fighting on that because there's no appeal to the voter in that. And the Labour Party will still talk about the future because the future is what's the issue here. Um, you see a government wants to talk about the past. We know why that is. It's because they can't fix the problems of today. They can't fix NHS waiting. Uh, they can't fix the cost of living crisis because uh, they cause interest rates to rise so, quite so high. And they can't they can't fix crime. They, they can't fix smears, but also they're going to keep into, continue talking okay. about the future. And one of those futures okay. is a better relationship with our closest trading partner. John McTurnan, good to speak to you. John McTurnan there, former political secretary Tony Blair, now senior advisor to the PR company BCW. He was at that event where Keir Starmer made those comments. And uh, the Labour Party saying, uh, we've left the European Union, we're not going back in any form. We don't support dynamic alignment. We're not to join the single market, the customs union. We will not be in a situation where a rule taker, any decisions on what standards we follow will be made in the UK Parliament.